Welcome at the headquarter of Bistronic here in Netherlands. My name is Yves and today I want to talk to you about mixed gas cutting. First, if you have any questions, please write them into the chat. We will answer all of your questions at the end. So let's get started. What is mixed gas? I'm sure all of you know flame cutting where we use oxygen as a process gas. All of you know fusion cutting where we use nitrogen as a process gas. So well, mixed gas is combining both gases together, which means we add a small amount of oxygen into our nitrogen. This small amount of oxygen will be the game changer. Now that we know what it is, let's see where we use it and what are the benefits. So far, we have made tests on mild steel, on aluminum, and on stainless steel. So the first topic we want to look at is stainless steel cut with mixed gas. So we are going to reduce our burr. We are going to increase the speed of cutting. But like with compressed air, we're going to have an oxidation on our cutting edge. I believe no one really wants that. That's why at the moment we are not working on that topic. Next, we are looking at aluminum. Since we all know that cutting aluminum with compressed air has great advantages. We are faster, we have a smooth cutting edge and we reduce the burr. But if you want to cut with compressed air, you need a high pressure compressor, which is quite expensive and requires a big amount of aluminum cutting to justify that investment. So if you're cutting just a little bit of aluminum, but you still want to have those advantages with the mixer, we can mix between 7 and 20% of oxygen into our nitrogen and achieve the same results than cutting aluminum with compressed air. As you can see, really the surface is smoother, the burr is reduced, and depending on the material and the thickness, we are increasing the speed up to 40%. So, the most important topic, mild steel and mixed gas cutting. This is the most important case and the most used case. As we know, in fusion cutting, the thickness and the laser power are in relation, which means a six kilowatt laser is gonna cut up to six millimeter mild steel in fusion cutting efficient. A 20 kilowatt laser is gonna cut up to 20 millimeter in fusion cutting efficient. With mixed gas, we just add a little bit on top. So that's a big advantage. Before we look in detail at those parts, we're first going to cut a 10 millimeter mild steel part and we'll have a close look at the differences. The first part is mild steel 10 millimeters with 10 kilowatt laser power. Here we use 2% of oxygen at a speed of 5.1 meter per minute. That's 10% faster than nitrogen. So here we have clearly an advantage in speed but there is much more to it than just speed. Let's take out the part we just cut in 10 millimeter mild steel. As you can see, it's really easy to remove the parts out of the skeleton. That's a big plus point of mixed gas cutting. It's very easy to remove the parts. Let's compare the three different process gases. First we have oxygen, black layer. We have to remove this layer for painting or welding, but it's beautiful, no burr, really, really slow. Second part, nitrogen, beautiful white edge, perfect for welding, perfect for painting, but it has a significant burr, although it's a lot faster than oxygen. Third part, the mixed gas part. It is black, yes, but this oxide layer doesn't come off. So no problem for welding, no problem for painting. And if we compare to the nitrogen part, the burr is reduced a lot, especially in small corner and small contours. It's much better with mixed gas compared to nitrogen cutting. Second part we're gonna cut is 20 millimeter mild steel with 20 kilowatt laser power.
for this 20 millimeter mild steel part, we're using 20 kilowatt of laser power. Here, we are putting just 1% of oxygen into our nitrogen. This part now here, we cut it at 3.6 meter per minute. That's about the same speed than nitrogen, but the quality will be much better. Look at the piercing. It's incredibly fast and really, really stable. We have much less problem with small parts, as well with small contours, with small holes. It's much, much better than with oxygen. And it's a lot faster. Let's take a 20 millimeter part that we just cut out of our machine. Again, as you can see, really easy to remove the parts out thanks to mixed gas cutting and of course a very, very nice quality. As well, the small parts here with a very small hole in perfect quality. We can cut plenty of those and we'll still reach a nice quality. Let's have a close look at those parts now. Again, the same procedure, the same three parts. First part, oxygen cutting. Beautiful part, no burr, but the oxid layer, that is a problem for painting and welding. Plus, we cut this part just one meter per minute. Second part, nitrogen cut. Beautiful white cut, so it's perfect for welding, perfect for painting. And it's cut with 3.6 meters per minute, so a lot faster than oxygen. The big disadvantage, we have a significant burr on the bottom side. Last part, our mixed gas part, little black surface, but no problem for welding, no problem for painting. And the same speed as nitrogen, with the advantage that the burr is nearly gone. If we compare this, there is nearly no burr. I believe in most cases we could use this part without reworking. Conclusion. With mixed gas, we have less burden with nitrogen, we're a lot faster than oxygen, but we keep an oxide-free surface. But I forgot to talk to you about the most important part, or at least the very important part. With mixed gas, we are able to cut low quality materials in a very good quality. So this rusty part, for instance, is absolutely perfect. Nowadays, it's very, very difficult to get good material and low quality material can not be cut easily. It's very difficult to have good parts in low quality material. That's why we have the answer for you. Use mixed gas. The last question is, how do we do it? To make our gas mix, we're using gas mixing units. Depending where you're located, you will be supplied with an MSS or with an Airco gas mixing unit. Both of them do absolutely the same. Both of them are adding a little amount of oxygen into our nitrogen. And if your machine is equipped with a third gas channel, the only thing what you have to do is choose the correct parameter. The parameter will tell the mixer what ratio has to use and it will adjust it completely automatic.